We are live from Fist Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Burns. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's plenty of smoke up here in the booth. We are in for a barn burner today. Oh, that's coming from the toilets in the men's room. They're on fire again. I'll tell you, this is not an aroma I'm fond of, Graham. Like Limburg and cheese fondue gone bad. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Cincinnati Mangles take on the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Second down and more than the QB would like. Man, what a hit that was. Third down and three. Shoveled his feet so well on that play, he should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. Third down and a pussy here. Look out, that's an all-out attack. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And 
And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong time. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? He's leaving a wake of destruction and oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. That ball just flies through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> Second down and five. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. The defenders want to be just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run a six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I still. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And that'll be second down and four. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and three. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. 
First and two. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Caught for the first down. Whoa, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Ball man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. They're gone now. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. First down and less than a yard. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback, man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. 
exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? <laughs> And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was a sonic blaster. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Ah, another action. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. I bought a quarter after three win, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. away if that hit didn't cripple him it certainly left skid marks and it's first and ten you can't keep a good mutant down no doubt about it that guy is dead he says I'm taking you with me his way out of that tackle. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 30. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, nah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. was good for 10 yards. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is dead. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime.
to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Your nerd fan base to bring him into the game. Second down and long. Third down and the punter is warming up. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, nice hit. It's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? And that'll be second, ten, and four. Up third down and seven. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Oh, what a brutal hit! I'm not saying the rap has been bribed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. The defense... And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, I just found out about that cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. First and goal. Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Fuego. Was he like in the original or 
extra crispy. <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, man. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Running like a moose right now. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a. I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up second and one. with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and two. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. That ball was almost intercepted. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Third down and five. That's a TR pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And 
It's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Gets another pick. Man. Boom! Hey, get your rep. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that rep, you pussies. I don't even get out of And it's first and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and goal here. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and ten. Uh oh, he took a beat boost injection. Now watch him stop all over. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First down, and the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. First and eight to go. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Big for great man with a ball and didn't fall out. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Love this dirty trick. The quarterback and he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Ooh. 
Second and three. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! You want to do some fun on your team! And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? down and 10. He picks up 10 yards on that play. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a... We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Away. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty. He refuses to go down. And he's off to the races. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, man, that's a death blow by one hitter. I flunked a lot of exams in high school because of the death blow one hitter we made in shop class. And it's first and ten. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set. And that's the last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant relentless advance? It's about a three-yard pickup. Second and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, with a brutal hit. Well, if you're into humiliation and scatological fetishes, this Burns loss was right up your alley. Well, there's a waste of an afternoon if you're a Leland fan. But if you're from Leland, uh, that's what everything feels like, I suppose. So, uh, they're used to Good teams find a way to win, and bad teams find a way to lose. Looks like they've got some work to do after this one-point loss. We've all got some work to do after this one. For example, your enunciation could have been a tad bad at Graham, and, and Junior, you can't swear all the time. I don't know what the fuck you're fucking talking about, you not fucking shithead. Speaking of shitheads, let's hear the MVP of today's game brag about the win. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.